guys, it's Matt with Test for Truckers over here. And today, this video, I'm gonna teach you a little bit of something about advantages and disadvantages, well, ways you could use your manual override fan switch for your advantage or uh, how it could actually hurt you. Now, I'm gonna start this video off with a little story. I was talking to my buddy, Rich, and he was saying that one of um, the shop foremen went up to him and said, Hey, Rich, you're getting real good fuel mileage, but I think you could get better because you keep hitting the manual override fan switch. And he said, Yeah, well, when I'm going up a big hill, I flip that switch on, and, and I just uh, wanted it to be a little bit easier on the engine. And, um, and so the shop foreman tells him, well, Rich, the engine will take care of that. Now, who's in the right? Actually, both of them. So Rich is right that if you flip on the switch and you keep your engine cooler, it's going to last a little bit longer. Now, notice I said just a little bit longer. These engines are, are not, not temperamental at all. If you keep them within the uh, uh, operating range, and uh, and all that, and don't abuse them, they're gonna last for millions of miles. I mean, we need a rebuild after a million, but they're gonna last a long time. Now, he does make a good point. It, it, it is better for the engine, but the engine's not gonna explode. I mean, it might last, you know, <laughs> a couple hundred more miles. And here's, it really, here's the thing about overheating and, and engine failure. It does not happen until real critical levels or, like I said, if you're abusing the engine. So if the oil gets way way out of um, operating range, yeah, it's it, that's when it's going to... Um, Say a command. That's when it, it's going to have, have uh, issues and everything. But Chuck was right. When the when the coolant gets to a certain temperature, the fan's going to kick on. It'll cool it down. The fan pulls plenty of volume to cool in a radiator, and any truck is big enough to cool it sufficiently. Now, like I said, though, uh, like I said, they're both right. But now let me get you uh, give you guys some tips on when to use your fan override switch. Like Chuck was saying, you should never use it because the engine's gonna take care of itself. He's right, but here are some ways where it can actually help you. It's not gonna make a lick of difference for the engine, but it will, it will uh, increase your average speed by a little bit, but every little bit counts sometimes. First, when I, always, when I uh, use my engine fan, um, switch. It's when I'm going downhill. And when I get probably about 100 feet from the bottom, I flip it off. And so by the time um, I hit the bottom of the hill, let's say this is, you know, not a real long hill. It's, it's just one of those hills where you can coast up to 70, 75 or so. Before I hit the bottom, I flip it off and it'll shut off. You want it to shut off right at the bottom. That way your engine's already cool. Let's say you, if, if you've already pulled the hill previous to this. It'll keep your engine cooler. So now when you start pulling that hill again in, and, and your engine starts working hard and that coolant temperature starts getting warmer, it's gonna, the fan's going to kick on that much later, which is going to slow you down less, give you a little bit more momentum give you a little bit more mile per hour over that hill maybe about two maybe three mile per hour when you get to the top something like that but like i said you'll be able to keep your momentum better now why does this happen why okay well the fan on a truck is driven by the engine that's why they're having this discussion in the first place and so it it creates a lot of drag for the engine which the engine needs to use more fuel to compensate. But if you're going downhill, the engine's not doing any work. And that's why I say it, it'll um, 
if you have your fan kick on later going up a hill, it's going to save you a little bit more mile per hour because I say it's a drag on the engine. That means it's costing your engine power and um, to the wheels when you're uh, when you have your fan on, you, you can't accelerate as quickly. You won't have as much power. So when you go up the hill with your fan on, you're going to go up slower. And so that's another. And that's a downside to the manual fan override switch. And if you uh, go up a hill with your fan on, yeah, your engine will stay a little bit cooler, but it's going to drag you down. It's going to cost you horsepower, and you're going to go up that hill about three, maybe five mile an hour slower. And like I said, it's a very powerful fan, and that's why it creates so much of a drag on the engine. So definitely use this technique if you're ever going to use your uh, manual override switch for your engine fan. If you don't want to use that, that's just fine too. Um, and just let the engine take care of itself. Now with Tips for Truckers, have a great day.